Okay, I'm recording a little video clip of this right now. Well, I guess that was too much. That killed it. I guess I'm pushing my uh, I guess I gotta slow down some of the bandwidth try to keep the picture quality high reduce the bandwidth a little bit okay let's see what that does Yep, crashed again. I started uh, Snagit to grab a video of the screen, and right as I started recording is when it crashed. I have 12 gigs of RAM in this computer, but obviously something wasn't working. And I have a high-speed internet connection. Uh, yeah, Rock was just saying that. He said he wished we could get away from Flash, because that is the problem. Let me go the other way. Well, there's a prom lifting off right below that uh, prom at the edge. Oh, yeah. Hi, Craig. Testing that uh, Feebon unit that I just got. Well, I got to re reduce the, uh, maybe reduce the exposure. Go to 150th. Well, uh, no, I want to go the other way. 100th. Nope. That's two, two, no, go back to one sixtieth. Yep. You talking about zooming in, Lee? Oh. No, it's not at full screen. I really ought to put... It's not at full screen. It's only at about 60% of the, the screen res. Wrong way. I 
always go the wrong way. That's about two two x zoom. So that's one to one. Yeah, I just I was showing Rock. He had never seen uh, or used Michael Burns' software, where you can just grab the slider and go from four times zoom down to full set scale without uh, playing with the menu in the back of the camera, which can be a pain. Where's the sharpness? The sharpness is at three. Let me go a little bit higher in the sharpness. I need to sell something. I have the double stack for the 152 coming maybe next month. <laughs> yeah, the circulation around that uh, one bright prom. Yep. I told my wife, I said, I don't do all night observing anymore. I just can't <laughs> can't cut it. Although I'm going to try to get up at 2 in the morning to look at that new meteor shower that hopefully will be as great as everybody thinks it will be. But uh, I can generally do solar. And as long as I have my closet door open and the fan blowing the air conditioning on me from the closet, uh, I can probably tolerate the summer in the observatory. Atmosphere was a lot steadier about an hour ago. It, it's starting to heat up. I had to put gamma all the way down. In fact, where is the gamma set in the camera? Yeah, the gamma is already set at one in the camera. I'm going to put a title on that. I wish I had more, uh, I could put more of a display on there, but. And between those moments of good good seeing when it steadies then it's really nice. You push up the sharpness a little bit higher. Go to eight.
Wrong way, wrong way. Golly. It's like trying to drive a boat with the cables reversed on the steering wheel. StarSense works really good on uh, some mounts. I was watching Michael Carnes use his at the ECFAR last year, and it was bang on. After it did a 400 star calibration, every target after that. Incredible. Yeah, this is really looking good. <laughs> that that Feebon unit really helps. This is only at the the ten. It was a twelve eighty by seven twenty p resolution because nineteen twenty caused uh, everything to crash. Lee, were you the one that put it in a pill bottle? <laughs> I'm gonna have to look at my, my 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 drug case and find a pill bottle because that was pretty ingenious. Because then you can still see the uh, the light to make sure that it's it's linked onto the uh, the signal. What did you cut the uh, ends out with? A little uh, Dremel tool or something? See if I'm cutting off the. I gotta go to a shorter exposure. It's it's just overpowering it. Yeah. Okay. Razor neck. Okay. I'm gonna turn the dome a little bit and let me raise the shutter. I don't have the shutter fully open. Sunlight now. Okay. Now that I got this Explore Dome working, 